Hi everyone, my name is Kumar Singh and I'm a research director with SAP Insider. As you may know, in the Technology Insight video series, we interview leading thought leaders and experts in SAP technology ecosystem. And today we have the privilege to have with us Barrett Thompson, who is the General Manager of Commercial Excellence with Zillion. And Barrett, first of all, thanks a lot for taking time to be with us today. Thank you, Kumar. Thank you, Kumar. It's a pleasure to be here. And obviously, the topic that we are going to discuss with him will be pricing strategy optimization and how technology solutions can actually help organizations build capabilities in this area. But before we get into the discussion, Barrett, it would be great if you could provide an introduction about yourself and your employer to our audience. I'd be happy to do that, Kumar. Thank you. I've been serving B2B businesses in pricing and optimization for almost 30 years now, helping them improve the performance of their business by applying data-driven models and technology to the frontline commercial activities around pricing and sales effectiveness. I'm currently working at Zilliant and I've been there for 16 years. I'm leading the business solution consulting team at Zilliant and Zilliant's practice very much aligned to what I just described about myself. We're enabling B2B companies to grow profitably by transforming how they use their data to make more intelligent pricing and selling decisions. Great. Yeah, and uh, I think uh, we are positioned, positioned perfectly uh, with all the technology and computing power available today with us to actually leverage more advanced form of solutions for pricing strategy formulation and optimization. So I'm pretty sure our audience would really love uh, the topic that we are going to discuss today. Like I mentioned earlier, the key aspect that we are going to discuss is pricing strategy optimization from a B2B uh, context and understand why it's becoming critical, why it's becoming important and how technology plays a role in helping companies uh, leverage technology as an enabler to build capabilities in this area. So let's start our discussion with uh, a question around that. I think my first question to you would be, what are some of the, the key challenges, the business drivers that companies are facing both internal and external that's actually making them take a hard look at pricing strategy and pricing strategy optimization? Kumar, we are in a great time to bring this kind of technology solution into the business. For example, businesses have, have been collecting rich data sets in their ERP system for many years. And that data contains important signals about what's really happening in the market. And uh, we need to extract those signals, but there are some challenges. It's a little bit surprising, but if you look inside some of the best run and most uh, well-performing businesses in the world, you might find that there's some things going on underneath that that look suboptimal just on the surface of it. For example, um, applying a one-size-fits-all price increase across the board annually. That practice might have been acceptable 10 years ago, but buyers are more savvy. They have more information at their fingertips. Their comparison shopping, their loyalty is incredibly low. Uh, they can find the product from another supplier. And so this idea of keeping your prices aligned to the market is, is critical. And I think B2B is seeing this now. Um, one other contextual piece here, when you think about traditional profitability levers, many businesses for years have been doing a great job taking costs out of the business, right? We know how important that is in profitability. So through Six Sigma and lean functions and other, they've taken out cost so much so that there's not a lot of opportunity for reducing costs. All of those benefits have been captured, but there is essentially a greenfield opportunity to think about price and addressing the price side of the equation. Uh, I'll, I'll give an example here that um, why businesses struggle with this or what it might look like from the outside versus what's really happening at the inside. Markets don't stand still. There are conditions and triggers like you see here in this slide in the center that are happening at all times. It could be a change in raw materials, a change in a competitor's price, a change in your inventory position. Some other kind of trigger is going on, a dynamic event is happening and you need to respond. And of course, your executives have issued some objectives for the business, P&L objectives. Every business has them. 
you know, we're going to grow top line by 5% and we're going to increase profitability by 100 basis points. Go. The, the question is, how do we translate those triggers and think about the executive's objective, the P&L objective for the business? How does that turn into a price for a customer on the front line of the commercial business, whether you're quoting them at every order, setting up an annual agreement, pricing them through some other mechanism? You know, most of us have never looked deeply into what happens here. We, it might seem that there's a straightforward translation. You know, if my inventory is high, I'm going to lower price to try and move that out or something. It turns out, would you believe it? When we look inside what's going on, these are usually very complicated processes with a lot of moving parts, a lot of people, and a lot of data and systems involved. And the state of the affairs for most B2B businesses is they have this hidden complexity going on in the management of their prices. And as a result of this complexity, sometimes the practices are very crude because it's all you can do in order to get the job done. You captured that aspect really beautifully. Uh, overall, I think uh, this was a very comprehensive uh, coverage of all the business drivers, uh, all the challenges that actually are making companies rethink their pricing optimization strategy and pricing strategy overall, actually. So we discussed the challenges, uh, Barrett, but now to address those challenges, companies need to formulate strategies, right? That 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 is what brings us to the pricing strategy part, right? So in your opinion, what are some of the strategies, levers that companies can formulate uh, to address these challenges and all these complexities related to pricing? I'm going to build out a slide here. Let me let me say that every business is on a journey. You know, pricing is not a destination; it's a journey, and and it, and it can take years. And every business is somewhere on the journey, trying to get better, trying to improve, and. We might think of it as a series of capabilities that stack one on top of the other. And as we increase in our capabilities in an area or we add a new area that wasn't very prevalent before, we're able to drive more value and benefit into the organization. So strategically, when we think about how, what could I do to begin to approach pricing strategically, I have some some half a dozen high level ideas. They're really just in three categories. Um, first, let's think about infrastructure. One of the key ideas is to consolidate your data into a common platform where you can see it, act on it, interact with it. And that might sound common sense, but too many businesses are running this critical pricing function using dozens or hundreds of spreadsheets. That's really quite common, Kumar, that spreadsheets dominate. And we all know the challenges with that. Here's another big idea. To integrate and automate, integrate the systems, automate the processes. A second area that I would uh, recommend people think about is more around the, the process and the performance. So standardizing or even clarifying what your process is. Mm -hmm. This is so we can avoid ad hoc treatment of things that actually occur over and over in the business. A final area I would mention, Kumar, in addition to the precision, is to start with the idea that you'll need to have a process and an approach that gives you price agility. And this ties into the triggers we mentioned at the beginning. Responding quickly and accurately to cost changes, competitive price moves, supply demand imbalance, that's important in the modern B2B world that we're living in. And, and since we already touched the technology aspect, I think it kind of provides a great segue to the next question that I was going to ask, the specific solutions that you have in this area, how they kind of tie to uh, all this technology capability that we are going to discuss. I think I'll use this picture to answer that question, if I may. Zillion has a flexible platform for the complete end-to-end -end management and delivery of prices inside of B2B business. So looking, for example, at the managed box. When, when I mentioned data consolidation, giving us one version of the truth for the data and one way to one place where we can put our uh, performance KPIs, for example, Zillion has that data platform. We have the 
uh, data visualization tools and the data analytics tools that allow us to manage our business. When a business tells me I have certain pricing rules and formulas and practices that I use today, the same sorts of things that are spread throughout those Excel files, right? With all the danger and effort that goes into those. If it if it's the case that those same formulas and rules need to continue into the future, but we need to put them on a modern platform and get out of Excel. Zillion has a price management tool to give us that capability. This is where users can define their formulas for adjusting price, and they can define purpose-driven workbooks to take them step-by-step through those processes. And we can audit the process and have a log of who is changing things and are all the steps done, all the things you, you lose when you do it in an Excel file. As we continue to go up the scale, on the automation side, and we're very strong in our integration capabilities. We're a 100% cloud-native, multi-tenant SaaS solution. So we sit in the cloud, and we must reach out to and interact with ERP systems, CRM systems, CPQ tools, commerce tools. So we have the, uh, the automation and the integration there to make those processes run routinely and to make sure we're getting data from and sending price guidance into all of the solutions that need them. And finally, at the top here for optimization, Zillion also offers a best-in-class price optimizer. And this is the full artificial intelligence machine learning engine. It studies years of transaction history in order to extract those signals about price and price response in the market. So we can get very granular and very specific. How does this customer value that product on the order that they have in front of me. And when you have a predictive model that tells you that, then you have a capability to decide how your offer price will capture the, the fair value for yourself as a seller, right? You get away from rule of thumb, like I always give a 15 discount. And if that doesn't win the deal, I go to 20 discount. The optimizer might say it should be 18.5 on this line item but it should only be 7.2% on this other line item because the customer needs a different price or is willing to pay a different price for these items. So in the optimized stage, we're able to see that with great precision and then feed that forward into the frontline commercial activity, whatever tool or whatever application the frontline sales team or order entry team is taking to capture that business. Based on what you have just highlighted, it's, it's not a question of should we invest in this kind of a solution, it, it's more a question of how quickly can we invest in this kind of a solution if you already don't have it. Uh, that brings us to the end of our discussion. Uh, thanks a lot for your time, Barrett. And I really hope we'll connect again uh, once more to discuss uh, another area related to pricing and uh, pricing strategy. Thanks. Thank you, Kumar. I enjoyed our conversation today, and I look forward to speaking with you again. <laughs>